What's up guys, it's Atomic, and today we're looking at by far one of the dumbest things I have ever seen, and um, for some reason people are supporting it. I don't know why, but it's it's stupid. It's very, very stupid. So, today we have this. It's a water bottle that folds. Don't really see why that's such a big big whoop because you can just crush a normal water bottle and you get the same goddamn effect but apparently it doesn't work like that you would need like some special expensive water bottle to do that so let's go let's see this hello i'm guy jeremiah i'm an environmental businessman and managing director of Aquatina. I'm looking for £100,000 for a 10% stake in our company. £100,000. That's a lot of money. That That is a lot of money. Like, don't think people really understand. It's a lot of money. Like, for 10%. That That's saying he thinks he has a million dollars. He has... He is saying that he thinks he has a million pound business in his hands. Highly doubt that. Highly, highly doubt that. And if he does, I am disappointed in the world. Because that is that is stupid that this dude... Bottled water. You'll, you'll see. You'll see this. ...is environmentally unsustainable. To make this one bottle of water, it can take a quarter of a bottle of oil and seven bottles of water. Here in Europe, the average Ah, yes, but you don't see him talking about how much bottles of water and oil it takes to make his bottles, does he? ...throws away 85 bottles every year. So, what's the solution? We believe we have it, and we believe it's called Aquatina. Aquatina All right, let's see this. This is... Oh, I already know what's going to happen. Look at that. Is it's a refillable, reusable pocket bottle. Boom. Look at this. This looks... In one, I'm just going to say this looks insanely stupid. For first part. Second part, um... I don't really see what the big whoop is. I, I'm telling you guys right now. Go and grab a water bottle. Crush it down to the point where it looks like the one all the way on the left and then tell me that it's not just as efficient because like I have a water bottle right here because I'm going to show you guys that this is complete bullcrap and you can do this with literally any water bottle you don't need some stupid aquatina to crush it down and make it pocket sized so, so let's see extend it Yep, extend it. Fill it up. Drink. Just one point. Just one point. He said extend it and then fill it up and drink. Keyword is fill it up. Yes, that is right. This is like a solo cup that is in your pocket. The only use for it is to be able to not use the, the, the water fountain as it's intended. You, go, you walk up to a water fountain, you drink out of the water fountain. You don't fill up a water bottle to drink out of the water bottle and then smush it back down and put it into your pocket. That just seems like a waste of time because it is a waste of time. But of course, this guy is clearly too brain dead to notice, so... And then compress, so... Repocket and like your keys or a mobile... And then boom, it goes back in your pocket. Yeah, so what? You could just... One, you could literally do the exact same thing with a water bottle, and at the same time, it's cheaper, it comes with water, uh, I don't know, the fact that you can find them pretty much everywhere, while this dude's crappy company has pretty much been, like, I can stick this water bottle to my head, can I? If you're wondering what I'm talking about, I have a water bottle, IRL, and, um... Tuck the label off of it, that way I don't get sued, but ah, it sticks to my hand because of the adhesive. Um, let's just go. A phone, you can always have it with you. The Aquatina is the perfect accessory to the water cooler. 
so you can find water coolers in schools, gyms and the workplace. So that neatly identifies our three target markets, which are kids, corporates and sports and leisure. Problem with sports and leisure, or leisure, whatever the fuck he said, but... Problem with that, if you're going to a sports game, most likely, you're going to have a bag with you. You're going to be able to carry a full-sized water bottle. So, you, you like, the only person who I think this could actually, like, apply to is a college student who has overpriced water bottles at their campus and just needs a thing that they can fill stuff up with. Because there's, I, I don't even believe it. I don't believe it. There's no way that somebody could actually want this. And, like, not just see that, oh, yeah, this is legitimately just a water bottle, but over-exaggerated with everything, so it seems like it's actually worth something more than it is. It's just a stupid water bottle. And I just want to point out, for the price that he's actually selling this thing for, you can buy, like, a, a, a big, fancy water bottle. Like, you know that overpriced water you always see? You can buy that. Instead of instead of this crappy thing. In parallel to all this, we've developed findafountain.org. This is a website where you look in your location and it'll tell you where you can find your nearest water cooler or nearest uh, pub or a cafe. Now, I admit, that is actually kind of cool. To have a little tracker for that, that's not a bad idea. That is by far the only thing that his business is actually doing right, in my opinion. I think that was a good, that's a good play. That's a good play. Where you can fill up your Aquatino for free. The market for bottled water is now worth $80 billion a year. But last year, for the first time in its 30 year history, sales of bottled water started to fall. Now, at the same time, the reusable bottled market has been growing fast and is now worth $2 billion a year. We need your investment, we need your expertise. Now, I just want to point out, he's saying reusable water bottles, not as in, like, literally just, like, a normal water bottle being sold without the water. The, the, I think the reusable bottle market, I actually have one of these. It's like a metal, like, it's a metal water bottle, and I drink out of it all the time. Well, duh, I drink out of it all the time. This is, like, my regular water bottle that I use all the time. It's metal. It's like what you would assume a reusable water bottle to be. Not literally just a water bottle with no water in it. That's literally what he's selling people. You could, for every single feature that his water bottle has, can be performed by an average everyday water bottle. And I, I don't see why people don't see this. Like, clearly the dragons in here saw it. But you would be surprised. I looked at this comment section. There's actually some people defending it. Like, there's like four comments with over a thousand likes that are saying, this is this is actually a good idea. Why, do they, why are they they not investing? And it's like, I don't know. Probably because this is literally a water bottle. It's literally just a normal water bottle. That's it. That's literally all this is. To help us take our share of what is an enormous and growing market. So this year we're offering consumers a choice. A choice between £100 for all these wasted bottles or £5 for one green bottle. Boom. You see that? One bottle. However, if you want to be a cheapo and do what this guy's saying and save money, you could just... Buy a normal water bottle, refill it, clean it, treat it as you would treat a normal reusable water bottle. And it has the exact same effect. I don't see what this guy's getting at here. It just doesn't make sense to me that, like, this is an, a legitimate product. And his company's still up today, though, somehow. Thank you very much. An eloquent presentation from a confident guy, Jeremiah, who hopes his collapsible, refillable water bottle can help. Also, I just want to point out, he, his company, I said his company is still up. His company is still up. However, he is like halfway.
to a million dollars in sales. He sold um about a hundred thousand of these water bottles, which only totals out to about like five hundred grand. And while I know that sounds that that sounds like I'm dissing him for saying you're not making a million dollars, that's sad. One, I'm saying he's not technically he's not even making that because of like he has to manufacture them, he has to tax and all the other stuff. But he estimated this company for a million dollars. And in the market, he's not even fucking close. Like, he is not even remotely close to that amount in profit. Like, that's just what I, I want to point out. He is completely wrong on his assumption that this company Stop would take off. Excessive waste. He wants a hundred thousand pounds and is willing to give away ten percent. See, a hundred thousand pounds for ten percent. So you see, if you do the math, he's saying that the company in its whole is worth one million dollars, which it isn't. It just, it just isn't. That's that's all I have to say. It's just, it just isn't. It's just not. But something has annoyed Peter Jones. I wonder what it could when be. When you came in, you've you've pitched this, but I think you've made a, a statement that's a complete red herring. Okay. By bringing in a box of empty bottles, mm -hmm. and then telling us that actually, eighty billion dollars worth of bottled water is produced each year. Yeah. You yeah. gave the impression that potentially you sold us that you had a solution. And I think that that is a complete red herring. This doesn't eradicate that, in my opinion. Well, we've based all our models on the two billion market, which is the refillable bottle market, not the 80 billion. Ah, oh, yes, the two billion market. So he thinks he's going to be one out of two thousand. Even that is not realistic. This dude's not even going to be close to other companies like Contigo and, well, Man, oh, Jesus Christ! It's not. It's not that I realize every single water bottle I have in this room is Contigo. Jesus Christ! They don't even. Look, they, they're not even remotely similar, and yet they're all Contigo. Is this one? Dude, even this one is. This is like a Star Wars one, dude. But yeah, he's not even gonna get close to getting market. up to their rank. So, I mean, our, my figures are that we take 5% of the UK market. So you are not going to, at any point, penetrate the $80 billion market? Well, the idea is you don't need to buy that if you always have a receptacle that you can fill up. I disagree. Do you truly believe that that's gonna eradicate no. water bottle? No, if we eradicate okay, all this... Okay, so if we're agreed that it won't we'll eradicate that, that means that that market is going to continue, does it not? I believe the market for bottled right. water will continue. So now, yeah. this is not a replacement for that, is it? But the being with the boom, it isn't a replacement. Even after he specifically said, it's a replacement. A tetchy exchange. Not a good start for the entrepreneur. Now, James Kahn wants to focus on the business plan. Guy, hi, I'm James. Uh, Guy, what's the price point that you're selling the bottle at? Um, it's up to the retailers, but the price point is 4 99 recommended. What does it cost you to manufacture? Um, it, will at, it will cost 50p. Right now it's costing us a pound. You've sold how many of these so far? Okay. So, to be fair, he's making decent profits. Still, not 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 even close to a million. Not even close. And in the last four weeks, we've sold a box of three hundred and forty. So just give me numbers. Three hundred and forty. So Revenue-wise, how much? Seven hundred and two pounds. So you're proposing me a business with a turnover of seven hundred pounds that you're valuing at one million pounds. See, at the time of this, he had only ever made seven hundred pounds. And he decides, this is this is a million dollar business. Just want to point out, I have made a set. I have made a, about a hundred dollars, like closer to two hundred. Don't actually know the exact amount. That's the amount of ad revenue I've made in a week. 
and I'm and I'm already getting close to topping this dude's entire business. Well, at the time of him proposing this, because this is once again, this is a stupid, stupid business. Why does this? Why does it exist? It's not a good idea. Yes. Is that correct? I've, I've got yes, those numbers correct. correct, haven't I? Yeah. I'm going to make it very easy for you and just tell you I'm out. Guy's confidence takes a hit as he loses his first dragon. Will health club owner Duncan Bannatyne see the benefits of his invention? Sorry about that. That was a gay ad that just came out of nowhere. You know, the thing is that the reason I don't need this in my inside pocket is because when I go to the gym, I need to take my sports bag because I need to carry my trainers. Yep. So I carry one of those bottles inside the sports bag. Now, in all good health clubs, they have filtered chilled water in yeah. the gym. So what I do is I refill mine using the filtered water to sure. my own gym. Some articles in newspapers will suggest that there are health hazards associated with single-use bottles. The inter you see, the, the health hazards he's speaking of, they're, they're like, they're not actually health hazards that are, like, attached to the water bottles. It's really attached to plastic in a hole. It's, also, I am going to warn you guys, this has been proven. If you, if you have, like, food or a liquid stored in plastic and the plastic gets hot, you probably shouldn't eat the food or drink the liquid. Because the plastic, the chemicals with the plastic, then get absorbed into it. Which is not good, obviously. So, you should probably watch out for that in the future. So if you're ever, like, cooking lasagna or something, like, a TV dinner or something like that, n take the plastic off, because if you don't, it's going, it, it, it's not good. It's just not good. And once again, what, I, what I'm saying here is, he's saying that there's, da da there's dangers, like, if you leave a water bottle out in the sun for, like, a day, or, for all, it's, it's probably going to take more than a day for it to get bad. But if, if you leave it out for, like, three days about, you really should not eat the water. You should not drink the water because it's, like, well, plastic chemicals. What, what do you think? But what I'm saying is the exact same thing that happened with his, with his water bottle. Like, I don't get, I don't get who, who he's... He's not fooling anybody here. Like, clearly... The dragons weren't weren't putting up with any of his crap, so he I already know he didn't like he didn't get anybody to come with him, cause well, it's a stupid idea for one and two. It's just a he's just like trying to swindle them into it, but it's not working. It's full of scare stories. So am I now killing myself because I've been using one of those bottles and refilling it for the last six months? Um, I think if you use it a few times, it's not a big issue. I just cannot see the point of this. I mean, there's so many problems. If you've got it in your pocket, first of all, it's cumbersome to have in your pocket, so it's not good to have in your pocket. But then, if you're going to use it as a disposable pocket, what, what happens is, every time you want some water, you go into this cafe where you can get the water for nothing, and, you open, and they give you the water, and you drink the water, and then you throw the water, and then you fold it back up again, and you put it in, which is a complete waste of time. It's just, well, you might as well just have a paper cup. And then you're talking about going around fountains that are around London. Where does these fountains are where you can drink the water free? You turn the tap. You go, See? The most you can just drink the water from the freaking fountain. You don't need to have a... Like, you don't need to have a damn water bottle all the time. You don't need a cup. Just drink the water. Even if it's like one of those weird pipe dispensers that only go down. You can just like put your face under that and drink from it. Not that big of an issue, people. It gets really not. Environmentally friendly way to drink that water is to drink it straight out the tap. You are there for. See? Most environmentally friendly is not having a water bottle at all. And it's, the, it's just the smartest way to do it. Just don't use the water bottle. Just drink from the fountain as normal people do. Because it's the smartest thing Harming to do. The environment no. By a bottle that you say is here 
to stop these balls. You might as well try that one up. It's a terrible invention. I'm sorry, guy. See? It really yeah. made me angry. And it's, it's a terrible invention. You exactly. For it depends. It's ridiculous and it's ludicrous. I'm sorry, but I'm out. An irritated Duncan Bannatyne refuses to do business with Guy. Deborah Meaden is next to interrogate the shell-shocked entrepreneur. Well, he eated his water bottle. Guy, can we just test the environmental credentials? So in terms of the production of this, yeah. the carbon footprint is exactly the same as that. This is, you'd have to use this three times. So once you fill this up three times, then you're at break-even point. You know what that means? And you can use this, we've, we've tested it. What he's saying is, it takes three times the resources to make one of his bottles than it does to make a normal plastic bottle. It'll last for nine years and it still goes. We had it so, on one of those machines. So it's your constant use, so therefore this is actually more costly no. to produce if it isn't recycled. Exactly. If I got uh, one of those bottles and I did what Duncan did and reused it for even three months, it would take me nine months of use for this to be a better and more efficient way of doing it. Well, then. First of all, you'd have the health risks of reusing a, a single-use bottle you can put it in the dishwasher so a lot of the bottles if you take the other ones they it won't get inside you I know mean, I smeared this with Marmite on the inside put it in the dishwasher and it's clean and hygienic but you really only have to refill that three times and you've got the equivalent of a single-use bottle guy it really is one of those I'd rather stick pins in my eyes moments I've noticed a hysteria yeah. about, you know, people get excited about this bottle it's you honestly it. believe that people go around with this in their pocket looking in their big this is one of the things that I, I think is stupid. For some reason, this bottle is an actual trend. This is a thing. People like this, and it's stupid. Why do people buy stupid things for no reason whenever there's an obvious solution? It's just, it's just, it's just schedules dumb. for somewhere to fill it. Well, rather than have a convenient bottle which they can buy from anywhere so i'm going to go into a shop and say look i'm not going to buy your water can you fill that from the tap for me please i, w I wouldn't go into a news agent and ask them to fill it up but, but we but it's convenience the whole reason sure. that market is so large it's convenient sure you're sure. taking the convenience out of it you're claiming to take five percent of the market five percent of the bottle of the reusable. bottle yeah. yeah well in my boardroom i have reusable bottles because we have the filter system i'm not going to use this so yeah. you're not going to touch that market what is the refillable bottle market answer only that question a refillable it's a range of different types of bottles that people can buy to take to school no it's not it, it really isn't. It's kind of just, you know, metal water bottles, hard plastic water bottles, the occasional, like, backpack water bottle, you know, like those backpacks that are literally, like, a tank of water. I think that kind of counts. Uh, yeah, no, a foldable water bottle is legitimately just a water bottle. It's just a normal water bottle that you crushed up in your arm. To take to, to work, to take to take walking, outdoor pursuits. It's a sports bottle. Uh, it's I'm a sports afraid, bottle. Yeah. Again, Doug has already said when doing sports, you've got a bag. Boom. You've got five sophisticated investors here who don't want to be treated like idiots. I'm out. Thanks. Good. An infuriated Theopophetus is the third dragon out, and Guy's chances of investment look slim. Peter Jones is now ready to declare his position. I, I really feel quite strongly that your opening pitch, I, I understand why you've done it now, but I do think that that is very misleading. I'm going to tell you exactly where I am. I, I think that this is not something that is going to sell in the volume or anything like the volume that you think I think your valuation is, yeah, it's not gonna. is beyond ridiculous and I think that you will struggle to get a hundred thousand pound return over the lifetime of this product so I'm yeah, not going to invest has. today so so guys down to me um, you had a high spot for me because I absolutely one of my pet hates is the waste that we actually accumulate through bottled water people just need to use taps 
But I don't like the fact that you have to use this three times to make it even comparable to one of those because it narrows the difference that it actually makes. You know, I would like to see a product that completely wipes those bottles off the face of the earth. For that reason, Guy, I am out. OK, thank you. Thanks. Cheers, but bye the bye bing, bye. but the boom, the idiot got... got and Guy um, leaves with nothing. What was I going with that? I don't know. Introducing the ah, it's a friggin' ad. A okay, guys, look. I'm proving my damn point. Look at this. It's a normal water bottle. But if you just take it... And just... Crush it! Now this shit fits in your pocket. That's it. it now it fits in your pocket. Like, <laughs> and then, obviously I'm not going to show my face doing it, but, um, you can just blow it back up. Boom. Literally did everything he needed to do with a normal water bottle. Just proves how stupid that is. Just proves it. So, yeah, that's really it. Bye, guys.